In this lesson, I want to spend some time showing you how to add items to a list. Um, essentially, I'm going to implement uh, the behavior that I'm going to show here in the simulator, uh, where we've added an add button. When we select that button and type in a list item, um, hit return or click on return, and that item then um, is added to the uh, um, to the list. So, a um, couple of things that need to happen in order for to make in order to uh, implement this. The first thing we need to do is add this uh, this add button. And so, I'm going to add another button to my list or to my uh, interface. So, let's do that. Add button. And um, and then I need to add that to the navigation bar. So left nav button equals add button. Um, I also need to add an event listener that will open up the uh, the new view when or a new view when um, the uh, button is clicked. So I'm going to add that here. Add button dot add event listener on button click. Uh, and so I need to um, I need to add a view and then I need to open that view. I've actually already started implementing the view. There is a little piece in here that I need to add, but I'm going to implement uh, the first part in the uh, event listener first. Um, where I'm going to create an add view that requires the, um, the add module, and then I'm going to uh, add that new add view. And there's uh, three parameters that I want to pass along. The first one is just the name of the view. Uh, I'm going to pass the table view to that view because we'll need to be able to add something to that uh, table. And then I'm also going to pass the navigation uh, along so that uh, we can transition to the new, uh, the new window. And then finally, I'm going to um, add the, uh, I'm going to navigate to this, to this window. Okay, so um, what I need to do now is uh, I need to create um, this add view, uh, which is essentially going to be uh, this window here with a, a label and a text field. Uh, and then something uh, needs to happen when I select the text field. Okay, so I've implemented uh, most of the setup here already. Um, again, so the title, this will be the title of the table. Uh, sorry, table title of the view. Um, the table that uh, is being added, uh, the item is going to be added to. And then the navigation so that after I've actually created the item, I can pop the, uh, uh, the current window um, from view and then go back to the table. So uh, we've got our label and our text field. The text field is going to be uh, a border style of rounded. Uh, and a width of 80% of the uh, width of the window. Uh, and then I've added those things to the, uh, to the window. Uh, what I need to do, the thing that remains uh, to be done here is to, uh, uh, to have uh, a listener for the text field uh, to actually add an item to the table. So we're going to add that here. Add the event listener. And we're going to react to the uh, return event. Um, and uh, the return event is what happens when the um, return button is pressed or uh, when, the, uh, uh, when the return key is hit. Although the return key doesn't make any sense in, on the phone uh, other than having the return key here. Um, and so th that's the thing that's going to make it so that we can actually add um, something to the uh, 
um, to the table. Okay, so um, I need to finish the rest of this. We'll have uh, a function and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the keyboard after return is hit. Um, and then I'm going to create a new row for the table. So we'll call our new row um, CTI dot. And then I need to actually create the table row. So create table view row. And then the property is just like uh, we had in the previous uh, lesson. Uh, I'm adding to the same table, so I'm going to use the same uh, parameters or the same properties. Um, for the row index, I'm going to um, set the row index to whatever the size of the table um, currently is. And so I'm going to use the following. So table is the input. Um, it's one of the input parameters. Um, I'm going to get the first item that's in the data array. Um, which is going to be a table table view section. And then I'm going to get the row count. And this is going to tell us the number of rows uh, in, the, uh, in the table. Uh, and then finally, I need to add a title for the row. So title is uh, say tf value. So that's the value of the, uh, the text field. Okay, finally, uh, I need to add this to the table. So table.append row. I need to put the row in there, and then I'm going to animate it. Although animating it doesn't make doesn't really do anything since uh, we won't the view won't be in um, we won't be we won't see the view. And then finally, we're going to close the uh, window. And this closes the current uh, the current view, the add view that uh, um, that we've used. Okay, so uh, that's the application. Um, we've already seen it running, but I'm going to go ahead and compile. Make sure everything is there. Okay, so just like before, I add to the row. I'm going to go ahead and hit return. You see here that the item has been added to the table. Uh, and then it's, uh, uh, the, it's sitting at row number four, uh, which is the, uh, the size of the table. So anyway, so that is the, uh, that's the conclusion of this, uh, of this lesson. Um, uh, there are obviously a number of other things that we could be doing with tables, um, that, uh, but this concludes um, at least this part on tables uh, where we're doing manipulations of the content of the table. So anyway, that concludes this lesson.